It is the year 2021, Galactic Odyssey Encounter 2, Micron Micromasters. Alright, ladies and germs, we finally have the arrival of the Micron Micromasters, and boy was I nervous if uh, Amazon was going to cancel my pre-order or not. I am just so happy to have these at long last. So, in the package, you will get the remaining two of the... Um, they're like the road squad of the Decepticon Micromasters you have here. Barricade, who has been renamed into Decepticon Runner, because there's already a Decepticon uh, called Barricade in the War for Cybertron line. And you have Motorhead. And over here you have the two components that uh, can combine together. You have here Roadburner and Fireguard, who is a new character because... As explained in a previous video, the other guy that could combine with Roadburner had been used already in a previous mold, so they had to come up with this new guy in order to complete the set. But basically, this is Wheel Blaze. He was a repaint of Red Heat, also known as Red Hot originally. Wheel Blaze came out in the have of the uh, Target uh, exclusive 10-pack MicroMasters set. But then we got these, which would, would have been a much better fit um, since, the, since these were a combiner. And so this should have been Wheel Blaze, but instead now we have this guy who's called uh, Fireguard. And then we have this guy who was always a uh, Roadburner. And he's supposed to have a little... You know, la uh, ladder, uh, a fire engine ladder, but um, now you have to use your imagination and believe that this is a water squirter or something. So now we have these three together. And then these two guys are named after Mask Toys. M -m -m Mask, that, that toy line. So you have here Windstorm and this guy's called Sting Racer. And, and there you go, these are the six that it comes with. So let's take a look here at these two first. As you can see, they're just repaints of uh, these guys over here. You've got Groundhog and Roller Force. So these two got repainted. And now, that means that this little squad is finally complete. The racetrack patrol is complete. 
We don't have many complete MicroMaster sets in the War for Cybertron line, but these were the four that originally came together. So at long last, these are to, these little guys are together again. Hooray! All right, so we'll put these guys down, and then we'll take a look at these two, and. Fireguard and Roadburner were repaints of the Battle Squad. You can see the combined mode that they'll turn into here. Um, these are Direct Hit and uh, Power Punch. So that's what they'll look like when they're combined. And now these two, who... These are probably the most interesting set, right? Because um, they, were, they renamed... Uh, uh, sorry, repainted off of... Uh, trip up here and of course Big Daddy <laughs> All right, so um, That's what these molds are are based off of and Let's take a look at some of the details here. So here we have windstorm who has some Tapographs here some flame effects. This part is yellow. Um, the green is kind of a sea foamy green you Have some flames there on the side and then there's this Part of the back uh, the rear of the vehicle that's painted in silver And like all micro masters that have wheels they do have rolling wheels um, The face is painted yellow as well overall not bad Sting racer Oh, there. Um, these guys are a little bit hard to stand. Sting Razor here. As. Oh, this is kind of hard to tell, but there is a little bit of a tampograph here. A light. A lighter pink on top of the orange. I don't know if that's coming in very well. But yes, it's along the side here. Right above this silver painted pipe. And the face and the top of the chest are painted the same silver color. And there's like a chestnut brown color above the kneecaps. These windows are painted black. The windows are painted black. And then there's the silver painted um, front of the, the car here and the engine block. So we'll take a look at those in, in, in a little bit. This guy, this guy, I, I can't get him to stand very often. He falls over real easily. And now these two. Um, so you have uh, white tampograph sort of windows here. Um, this part is painted blue on top of this, what is like a kind of a glossy brown metallic color. These little cannons are painted red on top of yellow plastic. The head is painted yellow. And then there's some green highlights. Mine has a bit of splotchiness around the face, but it's not too bad. All right, so there's that guy. And then this guy has the cannon, which you have to attach. And uh, same color brown here. This part is painted in a light cream color. The face is painted yellow and silver. And then these parts here are painted that same cream color. And then there's a little bit of paint application on the side of the vehicle here and there. All right. And then Motorhead here has yellow plastic painted over with a nice Decepticon purple. Face is painted yellow. You have silver for the pipes on the side, black on the windows, plastic wheels, and that's pretty much it for that one. And then here we have Barricade, or Decepticon Runner, if you want to go that route. Um, I think his uh, paint application is actually the best. This blue really works for this guy. Uh, black windows and... Um, the paint that they use here, this uh, pinkish fuchsia color, is a flat matte uh, paint that I think is the best out of all these guys. And then you have some flat yellow paint on top of that. And it works really well, I think. 
And so there you go, there's that guy. So <clears throat> before we get to look at what these um, things look like in car mode, we'll take a quick look here at some size comparisons. So here is Scar, the little Decepticon tape from the, uh, it was a cassette four pack that included uh, Rumble and Wing Thing. And then you have here, this is, uh, let me move these guys. Here we have one of the Power Dashers. This is Zetar. And I gave him some of the uh, bazooka pieces from, this is either Cliff Jumpers or Bumblebee's cannons here, just, just for fun. I'll give them back to those guys later, but you can see how he scales there. And you can see that this is a bit of a darker yellow compared to these guys. These are very light, almost uh, even lighter than a yep, lemon yellow color. Okay, and then here we have Double Dealer in his Vulture mode. I know it's called a Falcon or an Eagle mode, but whatever. So, you can see uh, the size comparison there. Alright. And now, let's take a look at their vehicle modes. And here they are in their vehicle mode. So we'll start here with motor head and barricade and see how they look. So here's motor head. He looks really nice, even though he is a little bit plain. All right. Barricade. Yeah, I mean, he is just a repaint of Roller Force. So the original didn't look like this. Roller Force and Barricade had two distinct vehicle modes. I have to say that uh, Barricade is a little bit lacking in the paint apps. Yeah. Bot mode he succeeds, but the, uh, the car mode not so much. And now here we have... Oh my gosh. This is a uh, fire guard here. And uh, I was trying to remember the other guy's name. The other guy's name was Wheel Blaze. They were from the Metro Squad. So this is the new guy. And Wheel Blaze already came out in the Micromaster 10 pack that was exclusive to Target. And then this guy is the, um, is, is, um, oh man. What are you? You are. Road burner, huh? Well, I can remember that. And then um, you can connect these two like this, and have their combined mode. I really wish I would have done more of these, and because uh, that that was probably the best thing about the Micro Masters. Uh, later on, they could combine, and it was really cool to see the different combinations that you could do. Now these two which are homages to two vehicles from the Mask TV cartoon and toy set. These, I think, look much uh, more brilliant in terms of their paint applications in vehicle mode. They certainly stand out uh, compared to the other four that came in this set. I think they look really sweet. I, I'm really digging this. I, I think that they are some of the best. Alright. You can see, not so much in bot mode, but vehicle mode is where they win, hands down. And we'll get uh, Big Daddy, or as he now is known, um, uh, Daddy-O, just to compare. So you can see what they look like. Actually, I forgot to mention that I toy hacks this guy up, so he looks a little bit better than how he came with originally. He was a little bit more plain looking, and then here we have Trip Up. 
compared to Sting Racer. Yeah, the uh, the paint application on the side there for the silver on the pipes was a really nice touch. Okay. And then just because we can, here's Metro Squad versus the Battle Squad. So you can see what these look like. And yes, you can. You can recombine these two. So you can definitely do this. How about that? Yeah, that, that was the whole point of having the Combiner MicroMasters is that you could mix and match your art's content. Look at that. I'm having so much fun right now. <laughs> this is really cool. Ah. All right. Um, so what else can they do? They can turn into weapons. You can combine them into weapon mode, but... Um, all right, we'll do one. We'll do one weapon mode. Watch this. There it is. That's the weapon mode. I'm ki I'm not kidding. This is this is the official weapon mode of this guy. And uh, here's Hot House. I feel like it's appropriate being a fire station and a equipped with a fire engine. And there you go. It's uh, it's, it's all right. It's all right. Um, honestly, this is probably one of the better pulled off combinations that there are because when these guys become a weapon, it's just one of those things where your imagination has to make up for the difference. <laughs> so there you go. Now there's so many of these little guys, it's kind of hard to, to keep up. We'll just compare these two because I, I nearly forgot to compare these guys. There you go. All right. So that there's that, and you guys saw these already. And these guys roll okay. You know, they roll decently. So look at just how much variety you're starting to get here with just these little this little add-on set. Um, I love the MicroMasters. They're great. Um, and you can really get, you know, a, a lot going. You can really fill up a, a whole toy tub full of these guys. Um, especially if you have the 10-pack, the 6-pack, and then um, all of them from the Siege line. They're really good. Okay, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you guys later, and thank you for your time. Bye-bye.